Duval? <laughs> no, it was probably a brother that did that, right? Got some targets lined up in the ward. Of course. Be there soon. I don't know how you people live down here. It's hot, it's humid. Most of the time it smells like that goddamn river. It smells all right to me. You know what it is. It stinks of mud. Wet, rotten mud. It's been buried down deep for way too fucking long. And the Mekong Delta had that same goddamn stench. Hated it then, hate it now. So, what'd you find out? Franco Frank Pagani runs Tikfa Harbor. Reports up to Tommy Marcano, and he has a ship called the Tanager, which he uses to smuggle shit in and out of the city. For the past eight months, he's been making regular trips to Bermuda. What's in Bermuda? <laughs> Not a goddamn thing. He's really been going to Cuba. Marcano used to run the mob casinos down in Havana. My assumption is that Frank has been taking whatever is salvageable from the old casinos and bringing it back up here. That's a lot of effort to reuse some old tables and slot machines. There's gotta be something else going on. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't walk up to Frank and ask him. He's in Havana now, and he isn't scheduled to be back anytime soon. I mean, we gotta force him to change his travel plans. Frank's businesses are centered around stolen cars and freight. Look for places that'll support that kind of activity. Once you start taking them down, he'll come home. All right. I'll put a tap on the Coast Guard and let you know when the Tanager contacts them. So you the scary motherfucker who gonna deal with Junior Holland. Nice to meet you too, lady. Set it down. I don't mean anything by it. I'm Gina Kowalski. My old man and I used to boost cars with Junior before he decided to bring us and throw in with Marcano. I don't see your old man around. 
Died in a cell upstate around Easton. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> you shouldn't have got caught. Junior's running cars out of the best oil gas station around the way. Got some pros that come around with high-end rides. Hell, he even got a sideline bootlegging gasoline from the refinery. Where are the cars going? He sells some here. But knowing how many nice new rides gone missing lately, I'm guessing Junior's getting ready to run a bunch in a shipment out of town. If he's got people out on the street, I'll get him to talk. Maybe even get word about the pros he's got working for him. See you around, Gina. Junior's boys don't scare easy, but you still need to get some of them to talk.
like Hi. they dropped the body to you? No, the 67 is just... Junior's looking pretty fucked now, isn't he? You got that little speed freak Junior stayed up out here. Didn't plan on doing any less. <laughs> An old friend with an E out at the best oil? Say Junior come blowing through, making everybody's life a living hell. And he won't leave until he can get the business right. <laughs> Never heard of Junior Holland being so dang motivated. When you have to kick up to Sal Marcano, that'll light a fire in the ass. That and all the speed he's on. When you whip his ass, tell him he shouldn't have messed with Gina Kowalski. <laughs> I'll catch you later, Gina. Junior's a dirty, backstabbing piece of shit. Go get him. But I don't know anything about stealing cars. Look, think I heard all of something. Junior's best boosters are either dead or gone. We all got to pitch in. You want to end up like them? Is that what you want? I don't think so. Hey, you want to go tell Junior no? He's my guest. Meantime, keep those damn eyes of yours open. That just don't. There's a door in there. Okay, that didn't sound right. Take him down. You never see it coming. He's cutting us down. They're gonna have to carry you out. Yo. 
yellow bastard. Lost another one. That is what? Yeah, must have took off. Go back and look over there. Those big balls now, Junior. Can you spare some of your crew to hold Tick Four? Eventually, I got a witness to come forward with information that implicated someone other than Sammy Robinson. A woman who lived near Robinson's place saw Sal Marcano and his son Georgie leaving the bar the night of the killings. I tried to bring Sal in for questioning, but all my efforts were blocked by a Judge Holden, who we now know was on the take. Hey, Lincoln. You think maybe there might be an extra car around here? I could, you know... Half my daughter's sixteenth coming up. I just picked up this call between Mr. Frank Pagani and Tommy Marcano. The first voice you're gonna hear is Frank's. The fuck you mean is gone? He came in and killed everybody. Christ, what a goddamn mess. I never seen Sal so pissed. You gotta get your ass back here like right fucking now. Sal's pissed? What about me, huh? Down here busting my ass, and now I have to deal with this shit? I told you. I take care of you, and I stand by that. When you're back in town and things calm down, I'll make it right. Yeah, well, you fucking better. Boat's taking off here in a few minutes. I gotta finish up with some things. Then I'll fly back when I can. I checked with Vessel Traffic Services, and they're expecting the Tanager to arrive any time now. Frank's a slippery bastard, so I have no idea where he'll end up once he's back in the city. His car is on the Tanager, though. And from what I hear, he loves that goddamn thing. 
So if I can get onto the boat and plant this, I'll be able to track wherever he goes. It's the same model we use against the Soviets. It has a mercury-based trigger. Once you see the signal, just follow it. After I put this onto his car, we'll take apart the rest of his district. No sense in leaving any loose ends. I'm sure Frank will appreciate your thoroughness. <laughs> Fence him. Takes 15%. You talking to yourself? Because I ain't listening. Get down! Get down! He got a gun! Asshole with a gun! Like a fucking ninja. I'm slacking. Oh. I'm sat down with you the don't deck. Don't hey, I'll find something. But beliefs like that can only be eradicated by changing hearts and minds, not waging war. That boy's clothes is. I'm waiting for him to be back in style again. Damn hell ass so far back, it stars at his neck. <laughs> I challenge us for actual race for pink slips, but the asshole turns pussy. Doesn't show. And that's his call? Nah, that's the call Mr. Pagani bought after he ran that piece of shit over.
How's yep. it going? Fuck that boy up! Out of the way. Ben Hey, watch yourself. I think you've been waiting for me. Yeah. Pablo Duarte. You're with the company? Not exactly. There gonna be a problem? If you can help keep money from going to those communist bastards in Cuba, then no. You with the Cuban Revolutionary Council? I made it through that disaster back in 61. Ended up here. I still have connections, though. It's how Frank Pagani's smuggling operation got on my radar. His man. Pops Holland runs the freight yard, does a lot of business with Havana. <laughs> All that commie talk about common ownership is so much bullshit, it's sickening. Those hijos de puta only care about money. Since losing River Row, Pops has had to resort to airdrops. They move them around, so you'll have to find out where they're happening. I'm sure Pops' people will be more than happy to help me out. I'll be back, Pablo. The fuckers working for Pops Holland know what he's up to. You're gonna need to get at them.
This is what happens if you lip off. Next time, keep your damned mouth yeah, shut. What? Come to me. Get out of ass over here, you've been shot! Hey, fucking move! Get an ambulance over here! Killed. He's been shot! I ain't giving up that easy. I'm ducking down. Bayou's getting a color ball tonight. Let's get out of here. Going down. Am I imagining things? the pace for Christ's sake. We're paying you by the hour. Tried to warn you. Junior may be a paranoid junkie, but he's still your goddamn boss. Just do what he says and
need to get this done today, ladies. Come on, how about stepping it up? But one fancy toaster off the back of a truck one time. Wife managed to break it a week later. Fix the light in front of my place. Attack.
pissed off motherfucker named Butterbean runs a show over there. You can thank me later. Who oh, you dig? Your to give us. He ain't here. Okay, then. Keep looking. Damn it, you want wood. Got a beat on him! Damn, get him! Getting any more cargo out to Cuba. Good. You somehow managed to piss off both the communists and the gangsters. Word is, Pops Holland is seriously fucked thanks to you. Best way to make a crook squirm is to hurt his money. Huh. Yeah. I heard Frank Pagani told Pops to get his ass back to the freight yard. Pops isn't going anywhere until you're dealt with. I understand he's a hard motherfucker. He's a survivor. Thanks for looking out, Pablo. But I dealt with a lot worse than Pops. Go get that commie loving piece of shit, Holland.
think I should ask out Alice who works in the office? Alice Holland. Because you remember her dad is your fucking boss, and her brother is a homicidal fucking tweaker. So you don't think it's a good idea? You need to worry about that nigga out there trying to kill us. Survive him, then you can do what the fuck you want. What? Is that a gun? Some bitch just caught him. Hope I'm not out of line here, Pops. But we shouldn't be working with those communist fucks. Nah, that money's the same color as everybody else's. Uh, don't change the fact that Cuba was on the verge of shoving a bunch of nukes up our asses. Listen here. Oh, He's here! Fucking hell! Me. Not enough for you! Oh. Hey, no one to go! No! 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 Get the fuck off me, you big son of a bitch! Of course. If we're gonna hold Tickfall Harbor, I'm gonna need some of your guys. You made the right move, giving me control of the district's rackets. But if I'm gonna run them, I expect to keep running them here on out. I'm of two minds when it comes to Lincoln's legacy. On the one hand, he was a, a brutal criminal who killed God knows how many people, a new breed of mobster, a prototype for criminals to come. 
He's someone like that doesn't deserve the position history has afforded him. He should be forgotten, erased. But I also understand that Lincoln had a significant impact on the Italian mob in this city. He did what the Bureau wouldn't or couldn't do. He finished them. I got a hit from the device you put on Frank Pagani's car, which means he's back in town. <laughs> bet he's pretty excited to make your acquaintance. I bet he is. <laughs> Signal's clean so you can take it from here. Just use the tracker I gave you. Catch you later. Looks like the place. Used to be a life gear. My daddy, and my uncles. Sure, they saw some action, but they always came out whole. What's your point, kid? Just feels like I missed out on the best time. The golden age. Don't fool yourself. Golden age still got a lot of folks dead, one way or another.
I never did anything to you. Saw some interesting stuff back there. Counterfeit money, a press. Only thing I can't figure out is a connection to Cuba. Please. I'm all busted up inside. I need a doctor. I got a wife and three little girls. Hey, you want a doctor? Then you better tell me something worth hearing. Listen, what you saw, Sal set all that up. None of the money was worth a shit, though. Had me bring in a man named Alvarez, counterfeiter who works for Castro. He give you the plates, too? Plates? I thought you knew, on account of the robbery. Robbery? <laughs> Marcano wanted the plates from the Federal Reserve. How do I find Alvarez? Oh! Well, one of Tommy's guys picked him up. It was 10, 15 minutes before you showed up. Where are they taking him? Uh, Where? Huh? My little girls. No. I've spent the last 48 years pursuing Lincoln Clay because he's a criminal. It's horrible what happened to him, but you know something? I think that when Sammy, Ellis, and Danny Burke were killed, it revealed who Lincoln Clay really was, a monster. Hey, not much more I can say here. But I hope you do the stand-up thing and make it right between us. You're running things straight down the line, pal, just as I would expect. I got the turf locked down, and my men are ready to make themselves at home. Need you to stay cool, Vito. I know you want this turf, but I gotta do what's right for all of us. And that means hearing from everyone. If Skelet is a guy we need, then you should take care of him here. We'll deal with anything else as it comes. Down in the hell! Look where you fucking led me! And they find myself agreeing with Scaletta. You don't operate in a goddamn vacuum, cut off from the consequences of your actions! You screw me over here, and we're done! Vito wants the territory? He can get on his knees and beg for it. You have just one choice here, Lincoln. Don't fuck this up. A fucking wop can cry me a goddamn river and then drown in it. Don't forget who you're dealing with, Lincoln. Gonna need Vito to run this turf. Good on you, kid. Good on you. We'll see how this all shakes out next time, Chalky. Until then, you can freely kiss my fucking arse. Guess we'll see how the next one goes. We'll talk later. Get on out of here. Look, I gave you some names and I'm paying you to chase them down, so don't give me any of that bullshit. Yeah. Okay, just get it done. Christ, sometimes I think if you want something done right. You all right? The nighty. Sammy was so happy. Happier than I ever seen him. That money was supposed to get him, get all of us out from under Marcano. Motherfucker! What the hell did Frank tell you? Marcano had us rob the reserve so we could get his hand on a set of money plates. Georgie must have grabbed him during the robbery. I should have been paying attention. We already had this conversation. None of this is your fault. Like hell it isn't. Sal is a cancer, a leech. He had always intended to fuck all of you. Christ, look what he did to Vito. He murdered your family. 
The only way to make that right is by killing every cocksucker who's ever looked at that piece of shit. Give me some of that bourbon. According to Pagani, Marcano couldn't print the money himself, so he had a Cuban counterfeiter named Alvarez brought in. What do we know about South Downs? Tommy Marcano isn't the kind of guy who shits where he eats, so his rackets are pretty low key. He runs a sports book and has a place where he stores his contraband. Tommy's got to know that I'm coming after Alvarez, so he's probably got him holed up in or near one of those places. One way or another, I'll get my hands on him. I'll be damned if I let Marcano print a single fucking dollar from one of those plates. <laughs>